Hi guys, this is Mila's Projects. I have another great video for you today. I'm going to be making over my front porch. So I really hope you keep watching. It's going to be a really great transformation. Here's the plan. I'm going to be adding some plants to the garden bed, paint the door, changing out these old lights, adding a, a welcome mat, and removing my mailbox and adding my welcome sign and adding a few more plants. So let's take a look back. This is how this spot looked last year in June 2020. When we first moved in, this place was very neglected by the previous owners. But we decided that we wanted a change. We pulled everything out and we started from scratch. We knew we wanted a garden bed, so we created a border and this is where we're going to be planting all of our plants. We got these stones from Home Depot and we worked through the summer to finish the project, but we just didn't have time to plan our plants. But this year, it was finally our chance and we picked up these beautiful flowers from our local nursery. So this is what I had planted so far with these two hostas and some impatience in the front. What I wanted to do was add another hosta, some more impatience in the front and some taller plants in the back. So now it was time to plant everything. These hydrangeas would eventually grow to be four to five feet tall. We used black mulch to give the soil a rich color. Now it was time to paint the door. Although the white front door didn't look too bad, I was just craving a bit of color. So I started off by lightly sanding the door with a 220 grit sandpaper and I used the color Starless Night from Bear and I just painted the whole door. That tiny sample size paint was actually perfect enough to cover the whole door and I did two coats of it too. Here's how it looked after the first coat. It definitely needed a second coat. But it looked so much better after the second coat and it was such a beautiful color. And now my all time favorite part, which is removing all of that tape and revealing all of that beautiful paint. There were some spots that I did miss and I just went over those spots with a little bit of the extra paint that I had. Up next is the DIY part of this video and what you'll need for that is a 12 inch metal hoop, some foliage and some wooden beads. So I started off by layering all of the leaves and positioning them where I wanted to go and I just kept playing around with it until I got uh, an arrangement that I really liked. I cut a slit into the hoop and it was, now it was time to hoop the beads through. I used my hot glue gun and my wreath wires to secure everything. I really hope you stick around until the end just to see how this wreath turned out. Now it's time to arrange all of my door plants. I got this super cute pot from Walmart and I loved the pattern but I didn't like the color so I just spray painted it white. I popped out a couple of holes for the drainage and then I planted these beautiful carnations.
we just used our regular hose to clean the porch and now it was time to arrange everything. Up next was changing these porch lights and I found these super cute porch lights from Home Depot. I also added these solar lights that I got from Walmart all around the garden bed. I removed the mailbox that we initially had there and I wanted to hang a welcome sign. So I made my own welcome sign and if you missed that video, don't forget to click that video and give it a watch. Here's how it looked before. And here's the after. Oh my god, it turned out so good. We love it so, so much. It was so much work and it was it was literally a year in the making, but it was so worth it. We go out and sit on our porch sometimes and it's just so beautiful to look at. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed the transformation. I really do hope you do like and subscribe and hit the bell button to receive notifications about my upcoming videos. I have a lot of other great DIY videos and makeover videos coming out for you. So I'll see you soon.